Auz billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim dear students today inshallah we will do the book exercise of chapter 11 transport in humans so we will start from multiple choice questions the first statement is the human circulatory system is an example of so the correct option is option b double circulation what organ pumps blood through the circulatory system so heart is the organ that pumps blood through a circulatory system and which type of blood vessels carries blood away from the heart so the correct option is option a arteries are carrying blood away from the heart come towards the fourth statement of this question why is the blood that flows from the lungs to the hearts brings red rather than the dark red so the reason behind is oxygen make it red what is the circulatory system so that is what so called a transport system option d is the correct one come towards the true or false statements the human circulatory system is called a double circulation it's a true statement the left side of the heart pumps blood to the lungs it's a false statement the right of right word is the right side of the heart is pumping blood to the lungs arteries have thick muscular walls that copes with the high pressures of the blood as it leaves through the heart so it's a true statement veins are narrower than arteries and have thinner walls it's a false statement vice versa capillaries have walls in them to keep the blood flowing in the right direction so it's a false statement come towards the third question using these words from the list to fill the gaps in the passage arteries carrying blood away from the heart they have thick muscular walls to cope with high pressure of the blood as it leaves to the heart arteries are divided into smaller tubes called capillaries which spreads through the tissues of the body this makes sure blood gets to every cells the walls of these blood cells are very narrow are thin so material can pass through them the blood and the cells blood is carried back to the heart by veins these are the white and have thinner walls than arteries this is because the blood pressure is low and the blood flows slowly these blood vessels have walls to keep the blood flowing in the right direction come towards the fourth question the diagram represents the blood circulatory system in the humans so we have to give the answer of these questions the first part of this question is describe the route taken by the blood cells from the moment it leaves to the right side of the heart on its way on the lungs until it returns from the heart uh, to the heart from the body so the answer is blood flows from the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery and then to the lungs the second step is from the lungs blood moves to the left atrium the third step is from left atrium into the left ventricle and fourth step from left ventricle blood moves in the body through the aorta the largest artery of the body the fifth point is from the body blood moves back into the right atrium by the largest vein of the body that is what so called vena cava and the last point is from the right atrium blood moves into the right ventricle this is a complete cycle the second part of this question is explain why this system is called a double circulation because the blood will comes twice as it once moves around the body so it was comes to the heart and it once it moves around the body the third part of this question is it takes 30 seconds from the blood cells to travel once around the circulatory system calculate how many times a blood cells goes around the body in one day so this is a calculation in 30 seconds it will complete one circulation so in one minute it will complete two circulation and uh, in one hour there are 60 minutes so there are 60 multiplied by 2 that is 120 circulation in one hour and there are 24 hours in one whole day so we will we will multiply 24 by 120 we will got 2880 circulation in one whole day the fifth question is write the correct word from the list alongside each descriptions so the descriptions are helps the blood to clot so that is what so called platelets chemicals that kills the microorganisms that is so called antibodies join with oxygen hemoglobin 
have a large nucleus, white blood cells, a straw colored liquid plasma, break down poisons in the body. So that is also called antitoxins, made in the bone marrow. So red blood cells are made there in the bone marrow. The second part of this question is name two things that are dissolved in the plasma. So digested food, carbon dioxide, urea, and hormones, all these things are dissolved there in the plasma. Antibodies and antitoxins are made by the white blood cells. Describe one other way in which white blood cells defends the body against the microorganisms. So the answer is white blood cells squeezes through the walls of the capillary and move towards the invading microorganisms and eat the so this is all about the book exercise of chapter 11, Transporting Humans. Thank you so very much, dear students, for joining me. Thanks a lot.